Blast. ES Bank last two minutes. Apply for an auto loan online. Big Mike, money. Inside the final 120 of the ball game, and Media Mike gets them a big three. Four court pickup, man to man by the white shirts. 58 to 54. Now it feels as if it's FEU who needs a bucket here. Maybe pad that cushion. Oh, they surely need this one right here. They gotta get something at the rim with Ateneo over the limit. Bomboy spins. Bomboy blocked by Kwame. Here comes Nieto. Leaves it for Edge. Edge with two big steps. 58 56. Milo Dutri up to the link drive to the corner. Oh, how big has Mike Nieto been for the Blue Eagles? He's been big. Tulad ng mga hakbang ni Kuwame nung last time na yun. 58-56, we'll take a timeout. Medium Mike Nieto has been magic for the Blue Eagles. They miss his twin brother, Matt, for sure. But the defense of, of Mike forcing the stop. Uh, how about the takeoff? <laughs> and then another defensive stop. And then a perfect pocket pass to a trailing big man. You know, as skilled as Anch Kwame is, Christian, and as impressive as those two steps are, it's like taking off from the three-point line almost and getting a layup, a pass to a big like that at that speed has to be perfect. No question. Uh, usually a big man like that, close to seven feet, would at least take one or two dribbles. But for him to take those two giant steps, taking off behind the line and finishing at the rim, you have to be impressed. But check time for the Tamaraos. Oh, they got a trigger in. Oh, that was close. They put it in the hands of Hubert Gani. They have four point guards out there, and Fritz Orizu. Kani, three, cash money! Oh, a huge shot by Hubert Kani! What a cold-blooded three-pointer. Can Ateneo answer back? Here's Mike inside. Oh, the dipsy do move by Mike Nieto. Alaska chocolate, Lakas energy play. The last seven Ateneo points. Five second violation. Five this time, second. forced violation. successfully by the Eagles at full court. Now, I was saying, the last seven points for the Blue Eagles, either score they're assisted by, by Mike Nieto, but Hubert Gani with a huge three pointer. We got a game with 64 seconds left. Fans, well, they're going bananas here at the ball of Asia Arena. They lead by three, but Ateneo has the ball. And you're seeing, you know, big shot making by uh, Kani on one side for FEU. You're seeing just the fight back and the composure of Ateneo on the other end. Because a three like that, the one that Kani hit, usually is a backbreaker. Right. Christian. Usually that's a dagger. Demoralizing answer. We were hesitant to call it that because of who they're playing, and Ateneo showed it because they got two points and now a stop in an extra possession here. They're looking for Assis on this play. Anton has space, has time. No go. Rebound Jasper Parker under a minute to play. Well, pretty much the same play they ran in the last five minutes in game three of the finals last year. Different result though, but got the shot that they want. Back in the hands of Hubert Gani. They want to attack Anton Asistio. Gani drives. Gani has it taken away. Great help by Jolo Mendoza. Ball is tapped loose. Comboy comes away with it. Gani to Escoto. And what a time for Richard Escoto's first points in the game. Timeout out to Daniel Blue Eagles. Oh, the embrace by Austin Asela to Hubert Gani. FEU comes away with it with a five-point lead heading into this timeout.
The Tuffin family enjoying it, but the last time FBU was in position to win a big game was last Sunday. They let Adamson force that game into overtime in the final stretches. We're trying to see if they've learned their lesson here. On the shot clock. Let's see what shot they look for. They have been 5 for 29 so far from beyond the arc. And they're going to use that warning convoy just to take a look of the play of Ateneo on this out-of-bounds side play. Mike the trigger in. They get it to Jolo Mendoza. They need offense and they need it quick. Mike inside, the layup too strong. Kwame with a cleanup. One possession game and Olsen will whistle for time. 63 to 60. We'll take a timeout and come back with the finish. This was the, the play that really changed the complexion of this endgame. Ateneo was able to force a steal on Hubert Cani, but Wendell Convoy got his hand in the cookie jar, poked it away, and it wound up with Richard Escoto, who only has two points in this game, but has been a difference maker. Well, this is the drive that cut the lead down to three. And even though it ended up as a basket for Mike Nieto, I thought FEU did a good job of not overhelping and you know, giving up the potential three-pointer, although Ateneo has struggled, we all know they are very much capable, especially in the clutch. 21.2 seconds left. FEU will not advance the ball, so therefore...